Hello everyone. Today here we are again with a question and we'll try to work this out. This question is based on areas of triangles. So let us begin with an application based question here. The cost of leveling a park is rupees 2700 at the rate rupees 2 per meter square. If the park is in a right angled triangular form that means let me just first draw a right angled triangle here this is one of the lengths and this is the other the longest side of a right angled triangle is the hypotenuse now whenever the cost of leveling the entire park is given you know, the total cost is given to us, total cost of leveling. That means we have first worked out with the area of this park because leveling happens on the entire area. And if the cost or rate is given, that means the per unit cost is given, the rate was rupees 2 per meter square. So try and imagine that for every meter square, 2 was charged. For every meter square, 2 was charged. So if I have to find out how many such blocks were there, we can always divide the total cost by the per unit cost. This will actually give us the area of the figure associated, right? So if I work this out, this comes out to be 1, 3, 5, 0 meter square. So these two points have been used to take out the area of the park. Now let us work on the other pieces of information given to us. It's a good idea that you pause the video and try to sort it out on your own. Now the park is in a right angled triangular form with one side being 45 meters. So here one side is 45 meters. We do not know what the other side is and neither we know what the hypotenuse is. This is the question that we have to find out the hypotenuse. I have the area of the triangle, so I can always associate the area with half into base into height for a right angled triangle. So this half, the base can be taken as 45 and height as x. So let us solve area as 1350 into half into 45 into x. When we try and work this out, x comes out to be 1350 into 2 by 45. Let's try and work this out. Mm, let's uh, cancel them with a common factor of 5. So I can get a 2, 70 here. And I get a 30. 30 into 2 is 60. So the other side has been calculated as 60 meters because I had the area, one of the legs, but not the height. Now it becomes very simple for me to calculate the hypotenuse, which can easily be taken out by the Pythagoras theorem. So let's try and work with the Pythagoras theorem. We had this as 60, this as 45, and now we have to find out the hypotenuse. So x square is 60 square plus 45 square. This becomes 3600, and this is 1. No, it will be 2025. I've just applied how to calculate the squares ending with 5. So h square would be uh, 5, 6, 2, 5. So h would be the square root, the positive square root of 5, 6, 2, 5. And when I try to take it out orally, it's 5 and 7, 8. Huh? So this will be 75. So the hypotenuse is 75 meters. Do see how can you take out the square of numbers ending with 5 or the square root of numbers ending with 2, 5. That's a good Vedic math technique. You can 